Hi. Uh, I received a, I think, quite a compliment the other day from my daughter. She's 19. Uh, I don't know. Do you remember the book Way of the Peaceful Warrior by Dan Millman? I'm pretty sure I read it in the 80s. And enjoyed it then. Uh, bits and pieces, of course, I didn't enjoy. I mean, like any other book, uh, there were things that uh, altered how I lived my life. And I thought, you know, hmm, I wonder if this is possible. I wonder if you can do this. And and it opened up uh, chambers in my brain that were not opened before that. Uh, but uh, I had heard that the movie had been made. And I guess it's been for years now, because uh, Nick Nolte actually looked good in the movie. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Nick. <clears throat> but uh, my daughter got the movie and was watching it. And I came into the kitchen and she was watching it. And I said, what are you doing? She said, I'm watching Way of the Peaceful War. And I said, oh, oh wow, wow, is it any good? And she said, I don't know, I just started. And... It was the garage scene when they first meet, when Dan Millman meets Socrates. And he's underneath the hood, Dan, uh, Socrates is underneath the hood working on a car, and, and uh, he asks Dan Millman, are you happy? And Dan Millman completely eludes, the, the actor does, completely eludes the answer, tells him all of these things that he has going in his life, but does not answer the question, are you happy? So my daughter, I, I have other things to do, I go do them, I come back, I said, you know, how'd you like that movie? And she said, oh, Dad, that old guy's just like you. <laughs> I said, wait, wait, wait. Socrates is uh, just like me? I mean, the guy, Nick Nolte, that, that old... She said, he said a lot of things that you say. He, he, a lot of the things that he talked about, you talk about. And I thought, wow, wow, that's... Thanks. I, like I said, the, the book changed my life, and uh, it altered things for me. <laughs> the mind... This insidious little voice inside your head that I talk about, this da, 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 da. everybody's got one, you don't have to relax, you're not, you don't have to get scared, you're not crazy. Well, you could be. You could be crazy and have a little voice. You could have several little voices because they do play their caricature roles, as do mine. But this little voice then says, maybe you're living a plagiarized life. <laughs> maybe all of these books you've read and all of these quotes you have you've memorized, and that's how your children are now living you. You've mer learned these things. But if I'm not living a plagiarized life, which I don't think I am, all the time, uh, there's the question. How happy are you? Are you happy? Right? If you're not happy, what's standing between you and your happiness? What keeps you from being ruthless about your happiness? I know it seems like maybe a contradiction of terms, but if you don't look out for your happiness, nobody will. I can give you the experience. We can go to a co-creation of experience where you find your own happiness, but then it is absolutely up to you to take responsibility for looking out for your own happiness.